You're watching WJLA 24-7 News. Good morning, Washington. On your side. Back at 7.09, and U.S. officials say it was highly likely that a Ukrainian plane was mistakenly shot down by Iranian missiles over Iran. New video shows the plane being hit over Tehran, killing all 176 people on board. President Trump had this to say last night. But somebody could have made a mistake on the other side, could have, could have made a mistake. It was flying. It was, it was flying in uh, not our system. No, it has nothing to do with us. Uh, it was flying in a pretty rough neighborhood, and somebody could have made a mistake. Uh, some people say it was... So the president went on to say that he uh, expects Iran will release the black boxes to Boeing or to European authorities very soon. So we bring in political insider Armstrong Williams right now to discuss this and other topics. Good to see you, Armstrong. So Iran continues to claim that it was impossible. It did not shoot down that plane. But others see this as possible collateral damage. Did President Trump's actions lead to Iran possibly shooting down this plane? What air traffic control in their right mind would allow any aircraft to take off from an airport and missiles and rockets are flying? Are you kidding me? They have no one to blame but themselves. Would you be on an airplane in the midst of a missile fire? Traveling? You know, you have a good point because the U.S. troops were in their bunkers. They knew, they yes. got the heads up that there yeah. were missiles flying, so they took cover. And it makes you wonder, why would any commercial jet fly? Why would it, you just shut down the airport? Are you kidding me? It's crazy. These innocent people die. And why would you want to fly? We've all been there, whether it's through storms, through whatever. Oh, my, my, my mm. mic fell there off. There you go. We, we, we all have been there, through storms and whatever. And we want to take off because we think the fire is coming. They're at war. I want to get to my destination. But sometimes you got to use common yeah. sense. That's not the time to take off. All right, but my question is, did President's actions taking out the general. Did that lead to the hostilities ramping up and ultimately this possibility that Iran took, uh, took action and uh, there was some collateral damage? I'm not gonna blame the president. I'm just not. This is what happens in times of war and conflict. There's this collateral damage. Uh, I think the Iranians, the Iraqis have no one to blame but themselves. And unfortunately, it was innocent people who died for no reason at all. All right. Uh, an another matter happening uh, in Washington last night, the House Democrats passed a resolution limiting President Trump's uh, war powers with Iran. Do you think this is going to tie the president's hands in the future, or was this largely symbolic? It is so meaningless what they passed last night. I, I, I mean, even the, the New York Congressman Max Rose, who's a Army veteran of Democrats said it's ridiculous that we're passing something like this. And even if it goes to the Senate, the president has the right to veto it at his discretion. So it's just symbolism trying to say that they're reeling the president in to make sure that something would happen in Iraq and Iraq doesn't happen again. Yeah. And on the impeachment front, Nancy Pelosi says that she may be getting closer to turning over the articles of impeachment to the Senate. Uh, Mitch McConnell, the Senate president, says he's going to move forward with or without the Democrats' support. What is going on behind the you scenes? Know, that is true. And people need to realize what the deeper issue is with Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi realized that the Iowa caucus is right around the corner in February. Um, she always, already knows that this is going to be a quick trial in the Senate and it's going nowhere. She doesn't want to leave her Democrats vulnerable where there's a out, just, a, a, just a backlash with their base. And so she wants to make sure that Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders and these other senators who doesn't necessarily represent the party that she wants to move forward to treat Trump their way out to the left, that they're back doing the business of the impeachments, they're locked down, and they can't really get out to take advantage of this I caucus because it shows that they're both are leading and doing pretty well. It's just a strategy for her, and she doesn't care what the backlash is. She's doing everything she can to protect the, the person that she believes, which is Joe Biden. I think they really believe that he has the best chance of defeating President Trump, of making sure that he has the best chance of getting the nomination. It's a strategy for the Democrats. She could care less about the 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 optics of it, mm -hmm. she could care less about what Mitch McConnell is about. It's strictly about politics, and everybody knows it. All right. Thanks for coming in today and uh, giving us your thoughts, Armstrong Williams. And you can catch the Armstrong Williams Show every Saturday morning at 1030 here on WJLA 24-7 News.